These are cool too. Have you seen these? Yeah. 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 What is that? What? It's another old one. I forget what's in all these pockets. <laughs> I go through this thing like you and the hand paints or the... Oh, you prefer the tubes? Oh, just let you guys know I'm I'm recording it uh, and on YouTube. I um, Just, you know, be a little careful if you want, don't want to... Say anything okay. in public. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> I definitely will say some things. Yeah, yes, definitely. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, we're gonna let our politics show. Yeah. Short clips. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, in my um, yeah. my my um, channel. Okay. Uh, YouTube.com slash uh, Blue Heron Arts. Oh, Blue Heron. Slash Blue Heron Arts. Oh, yeah. Okay. YouTube.com Blue. Must have taken a lot of work. Yeah, it took one hour after to edit it. Then I have all the guest painters like uh, Robert uh, and other masters, so it's very um, Did you see master? rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, you, you know, I looked up the word master. You, you know where it, where it comes from? Is uh, they have a studio. Like, let's say... Henry Lee? Yes. Like okay. a Titian studio. And, and he was the, the master of the studio. And then they'd have, you know, the, the, the... I don't know what they call them. Maybe journeymen or whatever. And then apprentices and then whatever. I don't, I don't know the exact order. But... Um, so that, that's really master. I think the word master has been like... Like, if you're a master of technique, you're a master. But that isn't necessarily, I mean, you, you're not running a studio with apprentices and it's really not technically a master. But I used to do that as an art director. You know, the, the funny thing is, is that as an art director, it's really, that's really what a master is, as an art director. So, interesting. Yeah. Is that like a Celtic or something? I don't know, it's the ad before one of these little videos. <laughs> Sennelier French Ultramarine. Mm. That's a good one. Um, by the way, was it, was it Art, was it you that, that no, that contacted Winter Newton? No, oh, no. No. Somebody I know, forgot, contacted Winter Newton, and all I know is his name is Dennis. So, um, he contacted Winston, and he's a big designer. He's a very big designer. He's uh, kind of a legendary one. Uh, anyway, he contacted Winston Newton to find out what they call their true red, yellow, and blue. And they said it's their cadmium yellow, um, uh, like a cadmium, but, but primrose red. So if you're interested, and you're really interested, I think I have some of those colors. I'm going to definitely get them and see if they'll work. That's good. All right. Let's keep down a bit now. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. Maybe, maybe I'll draw with this one. Oh, I lost my light. You know, the light will probably be out pretty soon. Although I'm seeing a lot of clouds. Yeah, you better start painting quick. Well, <laughs> you know, by the time I'm done with the demo, I won't. <laughs> the sun will come out. Oh, yeah. So what I'll do here is just whew, sunspots. Oh, don't look. <laughs> you know, uh, my wife used to be a waitress, and they'd say. Um, would you like a tip? And she'd say, sure, do you want a tip? And they'd say, huh? And she'd go, you know, she had all these little, little sayings and say, I don't look directly into the sun. Oh, that's cute. She was, uh, uh, oh my gosh. I'd go to her job, you know, waiting for her to get off work. And, and um, it was amazing watching her. It was like, wow. 
I am witnessing the world's greatest waitress. <laughs> and her tips were insane. Even back then, she was insane tips. All right, so I'm just going to kind of compose this on the page. Certainly could do a... Um, I could do a, a, a total little composition first. But what I'm doing is I'm just kind of going with the rhythms of these. And I, all I'm throwing down here is gesture lines, very much like the same way when I do a, a figure. Okay? So, I'm just going to do these. I'm just going to come down to the water here. And some reflections on the water. Okay. And right there kind of tells me gives me a general direction to go in and you know now it, it would it might be um, you might want to come here and draw lines let's say i have a banana plant here or whatever you to paradise whatever it is and come here and draw lines around each one like this and then go into the next one that's a a nice approach but this is for containing, <laughs> containing your. Um, your paper. It's a, yeah, don't. <laughs> um, and I don't know why. Oh yeah, I, I was using this for this. See? Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah, got that right there, and we're ready to go. Okay, so <laughs> that's containing the mass with line. But watch this. You can also, like, let's say, in this case, I'm going to do the object first and then surround it with some background rather than doing the background first. And you certainly could do it either way, but I'll show you. Because that's why I'm doing the demo, to show you. <laughs> okay, so if I have, let's say, uh, you know, I, I don't have a lot of control with this thing. <laughs> That's how you get loose. It's scary. You see how I just throw down the mass? Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Just throw down the mass. Let's try it with a square brush. It's a triple brush. What's it called? Triple. Triple brush. Triple brush. You'll be triple good with this brush. We just got the slogan. <laughs> yeah, it's the triple brush, folks. It's like oh, I like this. Wow. Wow. Especially for doing those little breaks, it's already kind of squarish. So let's try. Uh, and this, this guy have one over here. I'll take him right off the page there. Little flips. Flips up. You see how I'm just painting it with the mask? Then I'll come in with shadows later. You're painting it with the what? The mask. The, the mask, see? In other words, just... Hey, it's my show, buddy. You got the ripples. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I've ever seen a coin do that. <laughs> jumping. They're called jumping koi. That must mean the insects are. We're the bait. Oh, here comes the light. Oh, here comes the light. I'm going to get some glow in here. Yeah, this brush is really good for this. Do you sell these too, Henry? Uh, yes. Um, I don't have it today, but uh, next time I'll bring them. Okay. How much? How much are they? I think it's 40, 40 something. I'll, I'll, I'll check it out. You want mine? I'm sorry, how much? You see, I've already broke it in for you, so there's an extra, extra fee for that. So now, see how some of them curl for. Forward, see, watch. I'll, I'll bring the stroke like this and curl it forward. See? A little overlapping. 
And then you get a couple of little breaks in there, like, like that. Yeah, and then you make that. We have a couple coming right out of the page. And I'm definitely not putting every one of them in there. What about the one that's coming forward? Which one? That one. Okay, so I'm going to probably start off with the lightest part. And it's a, it's a kind of a cool color because it's you're not seeing through it. It's almost white. Let's put that in there. So really, it, it kind of maybe cool. I can always cut that back in with the background safe you are you always can come back into it negatively this is called painting positively right there i love all the little breaks and leave it but we've got because it's wet and then like we've got a shadow on the side over here just throw it in like that little break because some of these are a little bit more set up <laughs> <laughs> you too can paint. It's like the magic feather in Dumbo. Like I can fly. I can fly. <laughs> you guys are having way too good of a time back there. You've got the you've got the voices down and everything. <laughs> Come back and hit a little bit more if I like. Get some more. A little overlapping too really helps. Now we're starting to get some sun. I see all, see all uh, yellowy, green, everything turn. Some of, these, some of these guys sort of hanging down behind things. Doing... You didn't do any background before you made these. Right. I, I, remember at the beginning I said that I, I was going to do the background after I did the positive shape here. I'll come back with the negative shape of the background oh, oh. and even shape them more. It's just another approach. Certainly could have uh, painted the background first. Which is easier? Uh, I like both. Uh, I was just thinking, I was thinking the same question. Which, I was going to say, which do you prefer? Um, well, now if you paint around it with the background first, then you have to draw lines around it. Uh -huh. Or you, you don't have to. You could just, you could just mask it out. Or you could, but I mean, you could just paint around things. Mm -hmm. Like for instance, let's say, let's say uh, I have a really dark background back here, and I want to leave. Uh, I'm looking for something. Like, let's, let's say one of these guys over in here. I could go. Got a little bit of a triangle on the roof here. And coming over the top of it. And be left over with that and then glaze in my color later. Uh -huh. um, but what I was going to do is this. I might as well start doing this since I have it on the roof. Um, I could just kind of come back in and you see I can almost reshape things. If, or I could come back in with some of those little little cuts and like that. Yeah, the color pretty thick on the brush. Yeah, you, you know, to get it dark, you have to put it on pretty heavy. Oh, the soothing sounds of the... Oops, I dripped. Just leave it. <laughs> Everything's Disney to you, isn't it? It all comes up Disney. Oh, you know, that's kind of scary, but true. I sometimes wonder how much is Disney controlling our brains? <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> okay, now while I'm putting this negative shape back there, hey, maybe I have another brush. Um, some of the background things that maybe you want to have a fill back there, but not not too obvious. You could easily just throw in a couple marks like that. You see, just just throw in a couple little guys like that that could function as a leafy thing to kind of break up. Uh, you know, it might give you a little bit more of an excuse to throw paint around. I'm always looking for those. So. Okay. Um, let's see here now. It's kind of blue there. Wow. Wow. We called it the cotton candy plant. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know the proper name. Now here's another way. I could throw it down like that and just pop, pop a light out like that if I wanted to. Come back and maybe hit a little bit of a luminosity through there. So when the light comes through, I am putting it on pretty heavy. That's how I'm getting it to go dark. The more water you add, of course, it'll dry lighter, but then you get a little bit more flow out of it. So it's a your own feel. You get a lot accomplished with this brush really quick. Wow. Constantly getting wowed by this brush. Okay, so like like right in here is a bunch of shapes, right? Some dark stuff. Corner. Use the corner of the brush. You don't have to always use the whole brush. Corners of a flat brush can be really helpful. And sometimes you'll get a little, like a little knifey shape up in there like that, a little, little split in there. <clears throat> like that. Mm. And all this. Just... So when you... Color on your brush, you don't like mix the color up before you put it on the canvas. You just like dip, dip, and then onto the canvas so that you have different colors sort of like separated. It's very much, yeah, it's, it's very improvisational. You just kind of go with what you're seeing, and but you're not mixing the colors. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of mixing them on the paper, on the yeah. Henry says that a lot of Chinese do that. Like that's huh? the Chinese method. Yeah. Yeah, there's magenta on there. Yeah. So I have these guys behind this, but if you wanted to make a big deal out of, let's say, this one that um, that Ethel liked, um, we could just showcase it a little bit. So you know, you don't have to put everything in there. You're you're the uh, conductor of the orchestra, if you will, and so I'll come into it like that, kind of shape it, and then Throw some of that around. And then I'm, I'm seeing a couple of splits in there, right? Put a little split in there. Like that. Just a couple. Just, just look at this. Look at the razor edge you get to this thing. 
So if we're doing a split like this, look at that. I mean, easy schmeasy. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna paint the, uh, the gross color of the water. It's called gross. Probably could come up with a better name than that. And then we could take some of these colors and values while it's wet and are coming into um, <clears throat> some of these. Hmm, could have been a little darker than that, huh? Red, yellow, and blue will give you a brown, probably. Something like that. Either. I'm seeing a lot of that. I want to emphasize the red in the water so I can get my greens to pop a little bit more. Ooh, that was too much. Not that much. Yeah, it's a fish. <laughs> I know, really. Maybe we could do that. Yeah, there we go. I need a value like that. Rehydrate. And then clean the brush and get some of these guys that just, there we go. Close. And that all the way down. This guy, maybe that way. Oh, the, the reflections that you do on the water. Yeah. They're pretty bright. And if, if you need it to be really bright, what you can do is, um, with any brush really, we take the water out of it and the paint. There's a lot of paint. This thing holds a lot of water. Okay, I could just take it out that way. It acts like a like a sponge, and sometimes you just you know <laughs> when you really need it done. <clears throat> yeah, you know. I, by the way, if you wanted to throw. These orange things. No, what are they? Koi. Koi fish. <laughs> yeah, koi. Wow. You know, like that. Yeah. I mean, we, that light made it awfully dark. But uh, that's a knife. I like the Z you did. Yeah, it just kind of float around in there. Yeah. Maybe a redder one. Maybe the I think the water will just that's good. Mm, perfect. Groovy. And just sort of yeah, yeah, that's too yeah. dark though. I think the water is awfully dark, isn't it? Kind of a sludgy color. Anyway, I could paint around my little guys here and uh, we're not getting a lot of wave action, but usually what what happens is because of the ripples. You get some of that. Are you using a round brush? Yeah, I just, okay. I needed something a little bit smaller, but did, did, I don't want it to hold too much yeah. paint in this case. You know, a lot of times I just don't even think about it. Okay, now I'm just with water here. Just a little bit of water. I'm just gonna take it back and forth. And I'm basically taking this reflection out into there like that. Maybe right. I don't want to kill that. There we go. Move it. Just remember, I'm, when I pull all the water out, it's it's sucking the water and pigment up like a sponge. So if I get all that, I get all that out. See, now I'm pulling off. So just remember that. I mean, you can use it again, positively and negatively. And I certainly could work on this all day and would love nothing more than to 
I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll, I'll finish this up on some shadows here. Because I remember earlier we were talking about, like, let's say the side of this catches a little shadow over here. This guy. Okay, there's, there's a little bit more definite shadow. And something in between, like, there, like in the center. And if I wanted to soften that edge, just, just take a little water. Don't need very much. Just soften the edge as it comes into the light. Yeah. That's beauty. I mean, you could get crazy and put some of those little tink, 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 tink. All those. <laughs> if you find you're doing that, you might, I don't know. They've got a... <clears throat> They've got a mental health hospital around the corner over there. <laughs> so let's say I wanted this to pop. I could really pop it with a little bit more. Actually, though, honestly, the mental health thing, you know. Okay, so really, so you're in here because you're crazy, okay? Yeah. <laughs> solution to all of life's problems. Like so imagine, problem. imagine me. I'm always in here. So you know, I'm. You know, that's that's just a given. <laughs> crazy about painting. <laughs> so anyway, um, for, for, uh, it's dry now. I can I can come back and really define that shadow. You know, in little focal points like this and like this, I could really kind of come in and... <clears throat> you know, um, I, I was telling you about these strokes on here, like that would be insane, but actually, 